Now I will teach you how to create interactive buttons. So again I will create a new page, new file, new page. I will go and I will create this page as save interactive button, i button. This is the name of the page I will create. So here what I will do is insert interactive button. And you see here, insert interactive button. I will go and save it here. There is a different button designs are there. This is called border button 1, button 2 like this, border left. Can you see like this? And this is another type of button. This is chain button. This is corporate. This is you can embassy capsule like this. Now I'll take embassy capsule. My button name is same chocolate gallery. Here I can give the chocolate gallery. This is my name. Suppose I want to change this font, whatever the font, I can make 11, 5, or some other font I want to make, I can give the font, or original font color I want to give, or whatever it should be center, or maybe I can give as green, this font is green, not visible, I can give dark blue like this. Okay. So, embassy capsule, I use this particular one. This particular button. I use this one. So this is my. Um, this way I can insert the interactive button. Next button I want to insert. Go here again. Insert interactive button. Go here. Embed capsule. This is another color button. I can do here. I can do feet back. Feet back. So then I can do move the cursor over, then I can put images also here. So here I can put font, whatever it may be, bold, it like and font, bold it like. This way I can apply. Then I do this is my second button. So first button and second button for this now. So how I will do link using this one? Instead of text, we can do like this. So now I will see this. And save the button. What I will do is I'll create a frame in the frame page. You see here, find frame page frame. I'll create the frame page. Now I will take banner and frame page. I'll give it to you. This is my page called index one. Already index is available. That's the index one. Now I will set initial page. Don't go new page. New page display in this way. Create a new page. I am creating another page. That's meaning. So initial set initial page. Already I did top. So top to the top. Now we can do it. Here what I do is I will go and set what? Button dot i. I button dot html. So i button dot html. I will open. So whatever I am open it will come here. That is what our idea. So index I will put here. Here the index. So what I will do is. Here, here I will go and I will give hyperlink name. This is not correct. So I will go here for button properties. I will give here browse. Which one I want? I want chocolate gallery. Chocolate gallery .html in the target frame is what? It is not coming. So I want to close everything. Then only click. Cancel. Cancel. Save everything. Whatever it may be the view, I will save. Now I can go feedback. Or feedback also I can go. Button properties. Go browse. Feedback for HTML. Project frame. I want to insert. So now I will exit. See here, feedback is coming. So, this is a method. There is a wrong method. What is a wrong method? Generally, we are doing hyperlink in where actually? I said in button properties, not in hyperlink. That is a suppose by mistake. If I giving like this, you see here. Instead of this, here I will give button properties. 
I will go chocolate gallery. I will give target frame. I will give like this. I will give like this. Can you see? It will come like this. But no problem. Link will be perfect. You can see here. I will go here. The link will be perfectly coming. There is no doubt. But the button will change. So that's why where you should give in the interactive button, you always give hyperlink in button properties, not in hyperlink. So here called link. This here only you can give the link here. So this way we can do the interactive button. Next tutorial, next page, what I want to give is I want to create a new page. New page. Here I will give bookmark. I want to teach here bookmark. So BM, BM page I will give. I will give it like this. So I will say chocolate. Now always paste. This way I will write some information. Then what I will do is bookmark always be very useful in the next page if you say. So I will say chocolate. Whenever before creating bookmark, you place your cursor here. You place your cursor here. So which which place I want to make a bookmark? First, you place the cursor here. Then go insert here. Bookmark. What is the name of the bookmark? I will give. This is my bookmark. I will say the bookmark is here. So now what I will do is I will go here. Or I want to place here. I want to select also. I can select like this. I can select like this. I can go and insert. You can see already chocolate is there. So I will go here. Whenever I click here, hyperlink. You create the hyperlink. I click hyperlink. In the hyperlink, we know how to do target screen. In the same way, bookmark also we can do. Bookmark. We have already what chocolate. Click this one. Give. Give. So now I will run this one. It is coming in the same page. That's why we can't able to see. So what I will do is I'll make a little bit this one. Then I will save this page. Then I will run. It will show the bookmark. Can you see now? Whenever I click it, it's coming. Again, I will show you. Whenever I click this one, go here. I will type here. It's coming. Whenever I click this link, it will show the next page. Can you see? This is a page. So, this way I can create. Again, I will inform you. Insert. Bookmark. Place the bookmark. And create the bookmark. In the hyperlink, go and select what? In the hyperlink, go and select. This way you can select the mark here. So this tutorial will learn interactive button and then